I've got the uh, benign tremor. I don't anticipate that it's going to kill me in, in next year, but maybe in 10, 20 years, I don't know. So if you've seen any of these uh, videos about old guitars or the, the music that was made on them, uh, you probably have a pretty good idea of what I'm after, but it isn't why I'm after it. And uh, it's easy, easy to forget the, the why, isn't it? And uh, I was reminded of it recently when uh, my new friend Sandy came and visited me with, with his guitar and hoping I could make it play a little better for him. And I was thinking, I bet we have something in common. Other than the fact that he shares the same name with my mom. <laughs> I think I think we might have something else in common. I'm talking about the, the why, uh, the, the ways in which we go through the world. So this is Sandy. I'm a uh, guitar hobbyist. I, I like <laughs> Just playing for fun. And so Sandy's begun learning guitar recently and he's got a tremor. Now, it makes his hands shake. And a lot of my students have had shaky hands during the lessons and uh, it's something that we all kind of go through. Um, but when he asked me about customizing his guitar to help him work through this tremor, I realized I really don't have any idea what a tremor is really like and uh, how I might be able to really help him. Well, I've had it for decades. It's It progresses very gradually um, using my thumb and forefinger to brace. I found that by putting furniture pads, I could raise the level of my thumb and forefinger and the uh, thir third and fourth fingers uh, could reach the strings fairly evenly. And then uh, because my thumb and forefinger were slipping on the on the uh, furniture pads, I took to uh, using sleeves helps the thumb and forefinger to anchor on the on the furniture pads. But when I go for the higher strings, I have to let go with the forefinger, and I don't get as much stability. I was good enough to uh, try. It. I'm hoping it's going to make a big difference for. Um, for my play. So I really, really like finding creative solutions. It just fires me up. I, I, it really fits my learning style. Like, I, I like writing music to learn it. I like fixing things to understand how they work. I mean, I can even think about going all the way back to school and like, you know, cheating my way through certain classes. Like, I defend cheating as long as you're, you're good at it. That is a creative solution. And I was good at it. I mean, I did one time accidentally write my friend's name as as my name I got better <laughs> so obviously there's no one way to succeed and uh, we all have our own little snags along the way but but here's what I believe that success isn't really breaking through your limitations it's it's really just celebrating them think of Django Reinhardt Tony Iommi from Black Sabbath Think of the creative masters like Julian Lodge, Charlie Parr, and Victor Wooten, who all have vocal dystonia. And all the all the blind musicians who, who were some of the biggest icons of music history, you know, learning music is just understanding how to work within your limitations. So all this to say, when he reached out to me, I was thrilled. And uh, what we came up with is, is weird. <laughs> It's weird, but it's good. It's definitely inspired from uh, like the Spider John methodology. In the hawk shop, of course, they had all kinds of things like a, a drill. <laughs> so I started modifying this into a seven string while I was there. They had all those little things lying around to do that with. So this idea that the excellence is, is really from the solution and uh, the outcome being its own unique thing. So that, that was the thing that was really, really driving me, you know, to inspire me through this project. What he came up with, it, it, it works, but as he got better, he, he needed something more. And what he needed was some way to keep his fingers braced as he traversed from the low strings to the, to the high strings. But then it dawned on me, like if, if you take a pickup cover and a thumb rest from a P bass and you just shift it over, you've got yourself uh, a place to anchor your thumb and then a place to ramp your finger to go from string to string. Hey Sandy, it's Kyle. Just letting you know your, your guitar is all done. Question for you, so there's like a YouTube channel that we put videos up for. 
And we tried to do cool stories. And I feel like this guitar is a really cool story. I just find it really empowering when people um, persevere in any way they, you know, just making it work. <laughs> and that's why I love this project. It's so up my alley. Yep, I'll just have the camera up. We can just talk casually. And you can play the guitar. And you can bring your other one, too, to just show it. Awesome. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs> It's kind of funny, like, because it looks so natural on an instrument because it is from an instrument, but it also looks really, really confusing. <laughs> but I think it turned out great. I before I was playing like, I'm sorry, I was playing like this. Yeah. I I had. You couldn't use your. I could get the lower strings, but um, the upper strings I had to let go. Maybe I could do it without. Maybe it'd be better without the the the, the finger sleeve uh, kept it from sliding on the brace that I was using before. But there's enough friction on the bridge here to uh, let me move up and down without slide slipping. And it's nice and firm, and uh, I don't know. I'll just take getting used to. Mm -hmm. so. It's quite the rig now. <laughs> I think it's going to work. Yeah. yeah. Something that really struck me was uh, was Sandy's Y. You know, it really had nothing to do with mine. And it's a really, really special one. You know, people usually start learning guitar to like emulate a certain player or connect with the period of their life or maybe just sheer boredom if you remember the shutdown. But Sandy's are, are, are none of these and they, and they come from a, a really personal place. It just seems like it doesn't really have much to do with, with him at all. Why guitar? I have a grandson who started taking guitar lessons. And so I thought, well, <clears throat> why not uh, go along with him and take guitar lessons? So he and I take guitar lessons at about, he, I uh, have a lesson at three and his lesson's at 3.30. So, and then we try to practice together and do some, uh, some beginning songs together. That's beautiful. Yeah, so that's the, yeah. That, that was the motivation. It's been a couple of years now that we've been mm. uh, taking lessons together. So. so thanks for stopping, everybody. Keep keep playing, keep finding solutions, and uh, keep keep coming to hang out here while you do it. If you, if you didn't see that Spider John uh, series I was talking about that I produced with, with Charlie Parr, uh, you can watch the whole thing here. Uh, talk about creative solutions. <laughs> so, see you the next thing.